America, fascinated by airphones, passes her first radio Christmas. New science which now grips the entire nation was being recognized as a popular hobby just one year ago this season. Radio Digest, December 30th, 1922. We are again at the end of another year. Father Time steps aside for the new urchin that makes his way to us. The year just passing has been a busy one for the radio engineers. Just a year ago, the new science was just beginning to be recognized as a popular pastime. It has been an unusual year. It was not necessary to popularize radio. The people of the nation just had to fall in line to keep up with it. Now, as a fitting climax for the last week in the year, everybody has taken up This is a Radio Christmas with fervor, and all have lent a hand to make it the best. There are many thousands who have listened in on the best broadcasts of the year this week, who never gave the science a single thought one year ago. But things have traveled fast for most of us, and many are tinkering with the set who would have poo-pooed at the idea months ago. The special Christmas programs given at the different stations have been such that each has tried to outdo the other in quality and in distance work. The new fan is just as proud to have heard a distant station as a boy with a new toy. Many of the radio dealers who put in apparatus just as a sideline found that the sideline outclassed any other one in their store. In fact, some of them have discontinued all other goods and have turned their entire attention to radio sales and their development. We have only reached the dawn of a new era, and the best of us cannot fathom its future. If we hear of a new circuit, the public goes wild over it. If it works well, then its popularity spreads faster than any new invention ever brought out through the patent office. At this time, no one person can set forth a plan of how to go about making the science any more popular than it is today. While this was a radio Christmas, the very first one of its kind, there seems to be no question but what there will be many of them in the years to come. What the next one will be, nobody can prophesy. Estimates have been made as to the numbers of radio enthusiasts. There is no need to make estimates. The numbers are not right. There is no way of getting the exact count, even within many hundreds of thousands. Without a doubt, there is not one intelligent person in the nation but what has listened in on broadcasts. You may never have owned a set, but it is so fascinating that you cannot help but get an ear close to one if it is possible for you to do so. We cannot say more for its popularity at this, the first radio Christmas.